Are the 1982 Lincoln cents worth anything? This is one date that everyone is mixing up and I will explain which 1982's are valuable and which 1982's are not. You're watching Coin Help You YouTube channel and this is Daniel. Please like, share, and comment and also click that little bell beside the subscribe button. First, there were seven different varieties for 1982. There were small dates, large dates, there were small dates with a D, large dates with a D. There were copper planchets, 3.11 grams, and there was copper plated zinc planchets, 2.5 grams. All of them were made and all of them are normal, completely normal. Here's what you have, a 1982 large date. There's your large date. 1982 small date, no mint mark. See the small date? You had a 1982D large date. And obviously this is the copper version. And it tells you, copper, copper, copper. Okay? And this one here is the 1982 on a zinc planchet. This is the small date. This is also the zinc planchet, 82 plain large date. It's right here. Then you have the 1982D small date on a zinc planchet. Small date. And the 1982D large date on a zinc copper plated planchet. Right here. Now, the thing of it is, is that any of them that have zinc, 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 they all weigh 2.5 grams. And you notice that every one of them are either on copper or they're either on zinc, and that is normal. There's only one, only one out of these seven, right here, that wasn't supposed to be on a copper planchet. Only one of them. All the rest of them are supposed to be on a copper planchet. This was a split mintage, a production, on a copper planchet and on the zinc planchet, copper plated. So the only one is this one right here. You see this one? This is the 1982D small date zinc. Now, in and of themselves, a set like this, I might get 10 bucks out of it. They're not worth that much money. 98% of the 1982D Lincoln cents are worth face value or a small little premium if you have them in a set like this because, because people like to put together a 1982 mint set complete and they'll pay a little bit of a premium for these if they're like this, only like this, okay? Or they're put in a mint set somehow because they did not produce, the mint did not produce mint sets for 1982. So the only way to get them is like this. If you find them in circulation or you buy them off of a dealer, that's the only way, okay? Now, with that being said, and you know that this one here is the only one that is worth the money with when it's on a copper planchet. Now, here is a 1982D small date. Very important to look at the O inside the eights, the openings of the eights, and the two. This two is as crooked as a dog's hind leg. You cannot mistake it when you look at this. And you compare it to a large date, there's no mistaking it. Same thing with the openings in the eight. They're different. Those are the things you need to be looking at. Here is a perfect example and I've got the arrow showing. You see how large the openings are? Especially the upper opening. Compare it to the small date here. See the small date's opening? See the... You look at these two openings and the tops, even the top, the whole eight is smaller at the top. Then come over here to the two and look at the two. It's, it's like an S curve on a road. Here, it is not, it is straight. Okay, so you got your small date D, your large date D, and your small date D is what you're looking for and you want to weigh it because if it weighs 3.1 grams or 3.07 or 08 grams, then it's worth some money. Only two of them have been found. So remember, the rest of these when they're like this, they're normal. They're just worth face value or a small premium if they're uncirculated in a set like this. 
someone will pay a little more for them. There are some exceptions to that. If you can get them to grade 68, they've got some value to them. You can see the 82 without a mint mark is normal, but yet if you can get a mint state 68, if you can get it to grade, it's 525. The small date 1982, if you can get it to grade 68, is 4250. 900 for the 82D you know, the large date. So as you can see, but the problem with this is, is that if you send them off and you only get the 66, then your fees are almost more than what the coin's worth, as you can see right here. Mint State 66, you want them to be 68. And that's it. You don't want them to grade less. And most of them that you're finding in your change are just worth face value. That's it. Options, and here's a few that have graded and you can see some more values, 67 plus, 67 plus, 68. You know, they have to be in an actual holder like this. No one's going to buy your 1982 cents. They're not going to buy them like unless they're in a holder like this or if it's a small date with a D on a copper planchet. That's that's it. And you know no one's interested. I mean we still get them in our change all the time here in America. Here's the example of the transitional that's coming up to auction on Heritage. This is the second one that's found. Only two have been found with the D and it's a small date and on this size planchet. That's it. Only two of them been found. This is the second one and it's coming up for auction soon. This is the one that was found and sold. Okay, it sold for 18 grand. So if you can find one on 3.08 or 3.07 uh, caught size planchet and all these were circulated so they were found in circulation so you do have that chance. So anyways, I hope this helped clear up any misconceptions on the 1982 Lincoln cent because it's only the small date D on a copper plant and only examples that are in a PCGS or an NGC holder that grades 67 and up. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment and have a great day.